on. Hold it right there. A duck to water? Now, doesn't that bring back a story or two from another Richmond larrikin? His name? Brian Roberts, better known as The Whale. The Whale played in both West and South Australia before making the journey even further east. That was in 1971, and the giant ruckman went on to become one of the game's best-loved characters. Tiger coach Tommy Hafey may not have described him in such glowing terms, certainly not when he ordered his trips to run laps of the Botanical Gardens, a proposition that didn't exactly thrill the whale or his sidekick, rough Robbie McGee. I said to Bobby McGee, I said, he's not here. Let's get going, let's get in the duck pond, which is a duck pond in the middle of the Botanical Gardens. And I spent many a bloody happy hour there, I'll tell you, <laughs> in the duck pond. And uh, we, we weren't going to run the town, don't worry about that. So anyhow, uh, he said, this is beautiful. McGee, I said, yeah, I said, but keep quiet. So anyhow, we looked down the hill and there's Barmy, Neil Barm and Wayne Walsh, and they're running alongside of Tommy. Tommy's caught up to them. They're coming up the hill and they got right under this oleander bush, alongside the railings where he's running. And just as they got past, we all went, quack, 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 quack. <laughs> well, fair thinking. It's like you shot him in the back. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> so what have I done here? So anyhow, he runs back down, you see. And McGee said, you stupid. I said, that's... So anyhow, I said, what are you going to do? So there's a pile of leaves down by the garden, a shed. So I got down there and I threw all these leaves all over me. I'm lying like this, you see. <laughs> and McGee's got behind this palm tree. He's, oh no, you're here somewhere. Where are you? Where are you? He said he's coming in. McGee keeps moving around the palm tree, and I'm under these leaves, you know, with one yeah. eye off. A, uh, he said, well, finally, he spotted. He said, Robert. He said, where is he? Bobby said, who are you talking about? He said, the whale. He said, I don't know where he is. Yeah. We're about ten feet away under the leaves. <laughs> so if you give me up, <laughs> you know, he said, okay, I understand. He said, you'll do. Run the bits out of him, right around the town, you see, like, what am I going to do here? So, well, it's no good doing anything stupid. I might as well sort of try and fox my way out of it. So I get back to the club, and just before in the Yarra Park, there's a bit of a drinking fountain, you see, I threw some water over. Yeah. Walk to the door, and I go in, you see, and I say, oh, make out I'm exhausted, and all the boys are standing in the buddy club room, so it's quack, quack, <laughs> quack, quack. And I, oh, I got up and tell me, he's looking daggers, I said, Tommy Honest, I said, what, what's wrong with these blokes? I really ran the tan, you know. He said, I'll give you a quack quack Tuesday night. See ya. And he got me Tuesday night. I did about 24 laps. He never forgot it either. He quack quacked you then, didn't he? He fixed me up, yeah, for being a smarty. Probably best man on the ground in the first quarter. For mine, anyway. Kicks to the wing. He's had half a dozen. Brown! <laughs> a monumental mark. From the moment this kid burst on the scene,